In this tutorial I'll walk you through the process of creating an animation from a video with Deep Motion Animate 3D, importing it into Unreal Engine 5 and retargeting it onto the new Unreal Engine mannequin. I want to thank Deep Motion for reaching out to me and sponsoring the creation of this video. Their service Animate 3D allows you to create animations from video files you find on the internet or capture with your own camera through their AI powered motion capture technology. They have a generous free plan that gives you 30 animation credits each month. To access Animate 3D, we first need to create an account and navigate to our dashboard. Then select Animate 3D and click on Create. This time we want to create a 3D animation for the default 3D model, so we can leave everything at the default settings. We will now need to upload our video file. Whether you found your video on the internet or are capturing it yourself, you need to make sure that it matches these capture guidelines to get the best result for your animation. You can check out the demo video for a more detailed explanation of these guidelines. Once you found a good clip, simply drag the video file onto this panel and wait for it to be analyzed. Scroll down to the animation output settings. We want to make sure that FBX output is enabled, since that is the file format we need for Unreal Engine. We also need to enable root joint at origin, which is a setting that was specifically added to allow retargeting inside of Unreal Engine. The other settings are optional and tweaking them might get you a cleaner animation depending on what kind of video you are using. For the clip I am using setting motion smoothness to 0.1 and the speed multiplier to 1.8 was ideal, but these settings are paid options and might not be necessary for your clip. Click on create, double check the settings and then click on start job. The animation generation should only take a few minutes. After it's done processing, we can preview our animation right here in the browser. Once you're ready, click on download. We want to make sure that FBX output is active and click on download. Once you unzip the file, you should have two FBX files. We'll use the one without tpost in the name. Now it's time to open up Unreal Engine 5. In the project browser, click on games and then select third person. Make sure it's a blueprint project, type in a name and click on create. Once it's loaded up, we first want to create a new folder. Open up the content drawer and navigate to the character folder inside of content. Right click, create a new folder and call it animate 3D. We can right click this folder and add it to our favorites to more easily access it later on. Locate the FBX file you created with Animate 3D on your machine and simply drag and drop it into Unreal Engine's content browser. The FBX import options window should now pop up. Make sure that Skeleton is set to None and that Skeletal Mesh and Import Mesh are checked. We also need to check Import Animations and then click on Import All. You should now have the Animate 3D mannequin and your animation in your content browser. If you are using Unreal Engine 5.0.3 or higher, you might run into some issues here and get this error message. In that case, you can check out the separate video with an explanation of the situation and a workaround. We now want to start retargeting our animation to the Unreal Engine 5 mannequin. The first thing we need to do is create an IK rig asset for our Animate 3D skeleton. An IK rig will allow us to perform post editing on a skeletal mesh. Right click in the content browser, hover over animation and click on IK Rig. Then select our Animate 3D Skeletal Mesh. In my case it's called Grass Flip Adult Female. Let's name it IK underscore Animate 3D. Double click to open it up. The way we retarget animations now is quite different from Unreal Engine 4. We now don't need to match a bone from one skeleton to another, but rather match bone chains which we create for each major limb. Let's start by setting the retarget root. The retarget root generally needs to be in the pelvis area. In our case that bone is called hips. Right click it and set retarget root. Let's add the first bone chain for our spine. Click on add new chain and set the chain name to spine. We want the three spine bones to be included in this chain. For the start bone we select the one which is highest in the hierarchy. This bone is called spine underscore J and T. For the end bone we select spine 2 underscore J and T. We can then continue doing it the same way for the head 
and all the other bone chains. But there is another method of doing this that you might find a bit easier. We can select multiple bones by clicking on the first one, holding shift and then clicking on the last one we want to select. Select spine, spine 1 and spine 2 and then right click. Then click on new retarget chain from selected bones and write spine as the name. Both of these methods have the same effect, so feel free to advance with the one you find more intuitive. Create another chain including the neck and head bone. Name it head. Let's move on to the left arm. We don't want to include the left shoulder bone, so ignore it. Select the left upper arm, forearm and hand. Right click and create another chain. Name it arm left. Then do the same thing for the right arm. Select the right upper arm, forearm and hand and create another chain. Name it arm right. Scroll down to the legs. Select the left up leg, leg and foot and create a new chain. Call it leg left. Then select the right up leg, leg and foot bone and create a new chain. Call it leg right. Then lastly, select the root and create a chain for that bone by itself. Now we want to double check that we haven't made any mistakes. It can very easily happen that you mix up a left bone with a right bone, so make sure to check that your chains exactly match the ones you can see on my screen right now. We now need to create an IK rig for our target skeleton, which is the UE5 mannequin. Navigate to Content, Characters, Mannequins, Rigs. Right click and add a new IK rig. Select SKM Quinn as the skeletal mesh and name the file IK underscore mannequin underscore simple. Double click to open it up. Now we need to do the exact same thing here which we did for our anime 3D skeleton. Right click the pelvis and set it as the retarget root to match our other skeleton. We then want to select all the spine bones and create a new chain called spine. Then select the two neck bones and the head bone and create a chain called head. Setting up the chain for the arm gets a little bit more complicated since there are bones in the hierarchy we don't need. You can select multiple bones while leaving a gap when holding the left control button and clicking on a bone. We only want to select upper arm L, lower arm L and hand L and call the chain arm left. For the right arm select upper arm R, lower arm R and hand R and call the chain arm right. Scroll down to the legs. Select thigh R, calf R and foot R and call the chain leg right. And then select thigh L, calf L and foot L and call the chain leg left. And And lastly create a chain for the root bone by itself again. Again, double check that all of the chains are set up correctly to not run into trouble later. We also want to check that the names of the chains match between both our IK rigs. The order doesn't matter but the names being the same will make the next step easier. Go back to the Anime 3D folder. Right click, 
hover on animation and select IK retargeter. Select the IK rig to copy animations from. For us this will be IK animate 3D. Call the asset RTG underscore animate 3D to mannequin. When we open this up, we can see our Animate 3D Mesh standing in a T-Pose. For the target IK Rig asset, we want to select IK Mannequin Simple, which we set up in the last step. When you move the camera around, you can now see both meshes side by side, and we'll need to match their poses. So let's first create some more space between the two characters. Set the target actor offset to 200 to create some space. This only affects the preview and nothing else. Click on New Pose and name it T-Pose. Click on Edit Pose. We can now select the bones, but their draw size is a bit too big with the default settings. Set the bone draw size to 2.0. We now want to rotate the bones to match the position of the left character. We can simply select the upper arm bone and drag on the gizmo. However, we can't get a value that looks just right. We can click here to expand the toolbar and go into the rotation snap settings. Set this to 5 degrees. Now we can rotate the upper arm up by exactly 55 degrees to match the pose. Also move the other upper arm up by exactly 55 degrees. We now want to look at the characters from the top, so reposition the camera. Select the lower arm and rotate it by minus 30 degrees. Do the same thing for the other lower arm. The poses are now matching correctly. Let's check out the chain mappings tab. Here we just want to double check that all the names from our target chain are matching the source chain. Since we named them in the same pattern, Unreal Engine should pick up on this automatically, but you can adjust these manually in case they don't match. Click on the Asset Browser tab and double click your animation. Make sure to click Edit Pose again to leave editing mode. Our animation is now perfectly retargeted to the Unreal Engine 5 mannequin. But before we can use it, we need to select it and click on Export Selected Animations. Navigate to the folder where you want to save the new asset. I'll choose Characters, Mannequins, Animations. This will save a copy of the animation retargeted to the UE5 mannequin, which we can now start using in the game. From this point onward, it is very easy to import additional animations from Animate 3D. Simply drag another FBX file into the content browser. This time around, Unreal should automatically select the skeleton we imported for our last animation. Click on Import All. Go back to the IK Retargeter asset and make sure to click on File, Save All to update this editor window. The new animation should now show up here as well and already works on the UE5 mannequin. If you have other humanoid characters you maybe bought on the marketplace, you can easily apply the animations to them as well. You just need to set up an IK rig for the new character. And another IK retargeter. Congratulations for making it this far. You should now have a solid understanding of how to create animations from a video with Deep Motion Animate 3D and how to retarget them to your characters in Unreal Engine 5. I hope you'll be able to use this knowledge to create some awesome projects. Remember, you can sign up for a free Deep Motion Animate 3D account and get new animation credits each month. See you in the next video.